Okay, go ahead and tell me a little bit about the Contrast Art Group and what you guys are about. Well, we named our group Contrast because it embodies everyone's style combined together. And uh, we started painting together just as friends and Tommy, he had this uh, unique idea to go a live feed because, you know, he's pretty cutting edge like that. He's a professional skater. And um, I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. We're sharing our audiences together, you know. And so when we did that, we found that we had, what, uh, 130 views within 10 minutes. And we was like, hey, there's something to that, you know. So well, Talk a little bit about the live feed and for those who are not familiar with it. Um, it's basically on Facebook. Um, do you follow me and Jeremy and John Allen? We just share it. Um, we just hit the live button and then the whole world can see the broadcasting. So you're broadcasting making the, the making of pieces that you're doing? Okay. So far we've we started out just kind of our paint sessions uh, and everybody's having fun and we were giving some uh, giveaway paintings and people were participating. Hey, I want that piece, I want that piece and we had such a good response and then uh, we started, we had some musician friends who started playing music and we're sitting around a campfire now that it's warmed up and uh, it's uh, 13 weeks be this Friday and so uh, 13 consecutive weeks and we've grown to 22 members now okay and so it's it's uh, pretty entertaining we do about a 10 minute feed we do about 30 minute break and then we tell everybody to tune back in we'll give another 30 or 10 minute feed we try to keep about 10 minutes so people don't get bored and yeah. we try to you know now we're starting to get a little more professional we started out with our phones and now we've got a uh, uh, Maurice Fitzgerald, who's our professional photographer. He's Go a member. Pros. We got GoPros. We got uh, Seth Sailors and uh, what's his name? Uh, Sean. Sean. Uh, yeah, Sean. Yeah, Cheney. Sean Cheney. Cheney. Uh, they're our tech people, and they're they're working on the computers right now, getting our stuff edited, and we're going to be having some uh, really nice YouTube videos. We're going to so that's kind of spiraled into some instructional videos and giving classes online and. Uh, uh, speaking of classes, we'll, we're going to be giving classes here at the Fun Art Center as well. So. Okay. Well, we'll talk about the classes here in just okay. a second. But go ahead and talk about where contrast came from. And we was just everybody was getting together anyways, and you just decided, hey, this is something we want to make bigger. Um, pretty much. Like we came together, and we're all different. That's pretty much what contrast is. It's different colors, you know, and different contrasting things, like contrasting colors, different people coming together and creating art, building a community. Okay. Contrasting styles. Okay. Uh, like What's the goal? What's the, the overall goal of, of creating this art group or a group of artists? To make groups? the community a better place for local artists and to change a lot of things, you know, help build something different. Uh, Simple-minded people, we got to push them out and bring in what's new, what's modern. Okay. You know, we tell almost, uh, you know, being an arts destination, uh, we feel like everybody should be involved in the arts, you know. As underground artists, we haven't really uh, had the exposure that we felt we deserved, so we just kind of made our own underground art scene, and we're going to take over the town. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Jeremy, let's start with you, and talk, right. give, give a little brief history of you as an artist, how you got started, what you love most about it. Well, uh, um, I used to live right over, right down the road next to the train track, and I found myself with a spray can spraying all over the trains and then all over public buildings around town. And I ended up doing about 400 hours of public service work. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, my goodness, art is not a crime. And, uh, you know, then after that, I, I, uh, I did my time and did my work and cleaned up plenty of bathrooms and did a lot of community efforts. And then I moved to Nashville, became a caricature artist, you know, and a I've had a lot of uh, uh, neat experiences that have all contributed to my art style. And so I really enjoyed a lot of bright psychedelic colors and I really enjoy science and aliens and, and just opening your mind up to just all kinds of uh, futuristic thoughts, uh, kind of thinking outside the box. And I just want to not just do bright colors, but each subject matter, I want people to go, oh, okay, I get it, or you know, something like that. So, uh, but I've always been an artist and it's always helped me heal and I just want to give back to children and help heal the community with art, much like I feel through art. So, how about you, Tommy? What was the question? Where <laughs> Where did your love for art begin, and um, what's your experience with it, and what do you love so much about it? I guess, like being an artist, I want people. I want to connect with someone. So it's like empathy. I want to <laughs> like draw a painting, and I want to someone who feels the same way about me to connect with it, you know? And you got started when you were just a kid, right? Drawing and... Yeah, in high school I got bored and I started drawing. 
It's kind of just gone from there. What, what would you say your style is? Um, mixed media, pop art, illustration. Stuff. I like sloppy stuff like this. Okay. He's very good at it. <laughs> but I do like drawings like this. And okay. I Awesome. And John, let's talk about you. Is it where where all that began for you? Uh, I've only been painting for about a year now. I started by watching Tommy. I used to watch him paint all day, and then one day he handed me a canvas, and I tried it out and kind of fell in love with it. So it's been it's a couple, a little bit over a year now. Okay. Any specific style that you tend to gravitate more towards? Uh, mostly just abstract stuff. So. Okay. All right. Um, and what do you love so much about it? Just a. It's a release. Like, it's doing it. I don't okay. care if I ever sell a painting, that's my painting. Okay, awesome. It's freedom, legit. Nobody telling you what to do, you're just like... Art, art to us is an expression, you know, whether it's just thoughts, ideas, visual, uh, music, you know, so that's, that's what we gather. We inspire each other every Friday night, we collaborate with each other, we brainstorm new ideas, and it's just never going to... It's, it's non, non-stop, it's never ending, so... Yeah. So these Friday night sessions, is any local artist kind of invited to come out? Yeah. And there's no, there's no fee. Uh, you just uh, make a mention to us. Hey, I'd like to join your group. Okay, we'll let you into our, our uh, chat room, and then we just pretty much talk and inspire each other, help each other out through ideas and difficulties. And when we meet on Friday nights, it's all just a communal art group. Uh, we love each other. We, we get together. We, we support each other. We're like, oh, that'd be cool if you did this. And like, oh yeah, I was thinking about doing that. And we just, uh, we nurture each other. Yeah. So, give, I've seen Jono come along. Uh, tenfold since in, in the past 13 weeks he was painting one way and now I've, I've just totally seen him grow uh, probably a year's worth of effort in the small time that I've known him so Great. yeah it's so just fine. love uh, creation and good vibe yeah. good so find find your find the group through Facebook that's the best way yeah, to reach yeah. out okay um, also talk about also while we're here the art classes that are going on at the Fine Arts Center well, Tommy's going to be giving the first class. You want to talk about it? It's watercolor. I'm going to have like a flower, teach the kids how to watercolor, and then I'm going to let them do their own thing with it. Okay, so any theme for that art class? It'd just be like floral. Okay. And then I don't want to keep them, you know, like I don't want them to like, hey, do this and that's it. I want them to, you know, express themselves. Okay. What's the other art classes that are going to be going on? John is going to be giving the next one. And that, by the way, your class is uh, the second, yeah. April the second, and yours is the sixteenth. And they're from Saturday. They're on Saturdays uh, from I believe it's uh, one o'clock to two thirty. Mm -hmm. And uh, his is going to be uh, mine's a mixed media collage class because we got all these old art art magazines over here. So we're just going to have the kids cut them up and make a collage out of it. Okay. Any nerves about teaching? I'm always nervous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> right now. I'm nervous right now. <laughs> nah. <It's> yesterday. <laughs> well, I know Jeremy's not nervous. Jeremy, what are you going to be teaching? Well, um, I've given a, a graffiti class here once before, and I'm going to go ahead and touch back on that. And one of my strong points is, uh, you know, creating your own brand as an artist. Uh, me, I've got this Jay-Z, which is my symbol, and um, that's my brand. Well, I want, you know, just much like a graffiti tag, I want these kids to know they can be proud of their name, their brand, and um, most importantly, don't vandalize your community. That's my that's my strong point in my lesson. But just really how to uh, throw the colors together, make them live beside each other in a way that uh, just surprise others. So, yeah. And one more time, just talking about what you hope to do with these art classes for the Fine Arts Center. Well, we we really want to reach out. Now I know that uh, there are some paid art classes here in town, and we do want to you know support the Fine Arts Center with some paid members. But also we. In doing that, our proceeds, we want to give back to the community. There's plenty of children out here who aren't able to go pay $35, $40 to have an art class. But we really sympathize with those people. We all come from those walks of life. Uh, we were all shunned by our community. You know, we, we, we aren't all from, you know, uh, the Silver Spoon. So I really want to pat those children on the back and say, look, look at what you're good at. You know, I've given about three art classes here previous, and each and every one they were uh, through grant money. Uh, through Walmart, uh, Robert Allen helped me establish those classes, and well, we saw so many children who never had an opportunity to create uh, realize that they were good at art, and I still see them today, like at Walmart or something. Hey, hey, what's going on? You know, I'm like, you know, you got a special bond with each student, and uh, I want to just really touch the community in a way 
that you know really matters, uh, really gives back to underprivileged children. So. Okay, well, thanks guys so much for talking with us. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you for having us here.